This is the world's first Call of Duty Infinite Warfare nuclear gameplay, um, but it's on PS4. This is actually coming out on the uh, Xbox One release day. But because I'm an Xbox One player, I decided to leave it until the Xbox One beta comes out. Um, I'm a, I'm going to be playing it really soon. I'm going to be uh, uh, getting some gameplay on it and hopefully bring some some stuff out to you and that. And uh, so today we're going to be looking at this guy, uh, Jay Moser, who's actually using uh, a burst gun with the nuke with the nuke streak attachment. Uh, in Infinite Warfare, they're doing it so that you have to actually get a weapon from a supply drop, which has an attachment to allow you to get the nuclear. Which I, I'm kind of got mixed opinions about it, to be honest. I mean, uh, previously you could uh, you could either equip the nuclear kill streak in uh, Modern Warfare 2, or it was automatically set on for everyone, and all you had to do was go on a on a 25 kill streak, just or a 30 kill streak to get it. Um, this is actually a uh, one that kills everyone on the map. So in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2, obviously there was no kill streak, which went and got everyone at the same time on the map. There was in uh, in, in Advanced Warfare, it was called a DNA bomb. In MW2, it was a tactical nuke, and in MW3, it was a Moab. So obviously it's an Infinity Ward kind of trademark to have an, uh, an, a kill streak, which goes and gets everyone at once on the same time, which is a 25 kill streak. Uh, obviously the weapon that he's using is a burst weapon. So you can't pick and choose the weapons that you use. You have to go for the ones that uh, that have the uh, nuclear attachment, which is kind of I I have mixed opinions about this. I mean, if you want to use your favourite weapon to go for a nuclear, it's always a good challenge. But now, obviously, they're making it harder so that not as many people get it. Um, which I'm not sure about yet because I haven't played it. I'm obviously going to go. For, I'm obviously going to be going for nuclears when I get the game on the beta. It's currently downloading and I'm going to be playing it at the weekend. So hopefully, uh, I want to get this video out on release day just to like stay stay with everyone. And it's a pretty good nuclear. It's a very aggressive nuclear. I mean, he's he's obviously going around jumping around corners and using the jumping abilities to like stay out of the line of fire of the enemies. He's uh he's also using the count UAV kill streak as well as the scorchers, which are like the uh, the bombing run from uh, from Black Ops 3. I mean, uh, he's probably got the wrong kill streaks on because uh, if you're going for a nuclear, it's always gun kills. You can't have anything apart from gun kills. Uh, anything else doesn't count. So kill streak kills don't count. It has to be like with your player. Obviously in MW2 that was different. You could go around and, and slap on the Harriers and the and the Chopper Gunner and all those kills that you got with those streaks would count towards the nuclear. So he's a I think he's at 17, 18 kills and there's a countdown to how many kills you are away from the uh, from the nuclear. Now me being a player that doesn't really like put pressure on me that wouldn't be very good for me at all because I would be constantly like saying oh my god I'm four kills off this kill streak or it, it it would just get to me and I would just choke it every single time. I did that anyway, like I was always aware that I was I was three kills off a nuclear or three kills off a off a chem and it would pop up on the screen and I'm like bro I don't man So he's at twenty two, he's only got three kills left. Uh, you'll see what happens when he does call in the kill streak. Uh he's getting assists at the moment. That would that would annoy me so much if you're like three kills away from a nuclear and you get assists from people that are stealing your kills it's not very it's not the best it's not the best way to uh to get to get a nuclear i mean he's he's obviously like he's, he's obviously two kills away and he's look look at him he's like he's he's trying to figure out what what to do best way to go about it two kills away to get that nuclear kill streak and when it comes in it is pretty cool it's uh it's it does have a countdown it's not instantaneous as with other other um other big kill streaks that are called in when the game ends. Here we go. One more kill. There we go. We've got the nuclear. It's obviously called the deatomizer in this game. It's a deatomizer strike. When he calls it in, you can see it fly over the entire map. And the countdown begins. There's obviously five seconds left. It's a ten second countdown as with previous games. It's been the same. Here we go. And it does end the game. The game does end when you call in this deatomizer kill streak. Uh, you automatically win the game. Uh, obviously, there's only 81 kills in that game, but there will be 100 kills per normal. But that is the end of the game. Um, the kill streak, the atomizer does end the game, um, like MW2 did. I don't think it did in Ghosts. Uh, like when you called in a came and infected, it would just the game would continue as normal. So 
there we go, that's the end of the game. He came first in his team, obviously. And it does leave a bit of a haze in the map, like uh, like like uh, MW2 did, and so did Ghosts. But I think that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Deatomizer Tactical Nuke Infinite Warfare gameplay. If you did enjoy, thumbs up for more Infinite Warfare gameplay. I'm going to be bringing out some of my own gameplay soon. When I download the beta, it's currently at 45% and I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to play it. It's the weekend. So, yeah, it's been Adam and I'll see you in the next video.